Certainly in Maryland is a day of reckoning um, and a day of accounting. Maryland Attorney General Anthony Brown is referring to this 463-page report that documents, quote, the depraved and systemic failure of the archdiocese to protect the children it was charged to keep safe. This is a full accounting. Uh, there are details of repeated, tortuous, terrorizing, uh, depraved abuse. The investigation uncovered the extent of the power and authority the clergy used to exploit the trust of the children. They told their victims the abuse was God's will. Some threatened that the victim or the victim's family would go to hell if they told anyone. They attempted to normalize sexual behavior as roughhousing. According to the report, certain parishes had multiple abusers. St. Mark's in Catonsville had 11 child abusers living and working there from 1964 to 2004. Four parishes had six abusers, including St. Michael Overly. The report cites a case where a sexually abused child came to a priest for counseling. His parents so trusting, they let him spend the night. The report says the priest raped him for five years. A distraught father of a young girl demanded a priest be removed. The priest confessed to an uncontrollable attraction to young girls and a yielding to temptation from time to time. The archdiocese quietly got him into psychiatric treatment and reassigned him to desk work where he would not be exposed to temptation. It's, it's not only uh, churches, it, it is uh, schools associated with the archdiocese. So the institutions associated with the respective archdioceses uh, are the target of our uh, investigations. The report details the abuse by Father Maskell. At least 39 people reported being sexually abused by him. Nine girls described being given tea, soda, or wine, or even being hypnotized. Seven girls complained they were forced to have sex with Maskell and other men. The AG's report indicates that Maskell and Father Magnus worked as a team abusing the girls at Archbishop Keogh High School. Many of the victims who were sexually abused by Maskell describe Magnus as participating in and being present for the abuse. But for an insurmountable legal obstacle, we will do everything we can uh, to bring those abusers and those who enabled them uh, to justice.